God, I hate these. I mean, they're awfully pretty, but my boots are not made for walking on these glass-like smooth rocks. Man, if it was wet in here, even just damp, oh God, it'd be pretty bad. So far, my battery indicator's not flashing. That's surprising. Yeah, now we're getting into the sunny part. This is up again at about a 45 degree angle. That's back the way we came. That's straight. And that's up. I'm right next to a vertical rock wall that goes up maybe oh, 100 feet, 120 feet. And there's a big rock wall there, about the same. And you see like, I want to zoom in here just for a moment, places like that where water comes gushing out of the walls. This part here must be stay pretty wet because there's a lot of uh, plants here that, you know, live in a watery environment. So even though there's not any standing water here, real pleasant odor in here with all these plants. A lot of torn up trees and stuff. There's another thing there that goes back up in there. I don't think it's a trail, but you tell water comes from there. You get some pretty major uh, floods right here, I would guess. I think that's where a uh, kind of hard to see, but I think you're looking at a, a water outlet there. My battery indicator light just came on, so I'm going to try to make this last as long as I can. See, look at this thing. It's been bent over by the force of the water. That's where we came from. This thing's been watered up. I hope this video will last until I get out of the main canyon part. You actually follow a stream into the canyon. But uh, at some point, you get into the canyon, the stream goes off in another direction, or actually comes from another direction. It's part of the entrance of the canyon where you have to walk through the stream. We're back to these straight up, humongous walls, straight up on either side, but they're separated by probably 40 feet. Very impressive, though. Still, this doesn't compare. I mean, this is a cool hike, but it still just doesn't really compare to me to that. Uh, you see more up there where the water comes shooting out of the rocks. Doesn't really compare to me to the uh, Mary Jane Falls hike. That one was just, whoa, really cool. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, you know, this rock, this wall here, got these strange little uh, sections, you know, and it's just striped all the way. It's just stripes set going up at an angle. That's straight. The stripes just kind of go up at an angle. Just, uh, well, that's straight there. But all these layers, this whole thing is but this rock over here is different, so it's kind of weird. You've got different types of rock in here. One wall is made of one kind of rock. One wall is made of a different type kind of rock. Boy, if you were standing right here in a rainstorm, you'd be getting wet because that stuff, that's just pointed straight at me. Man, you wouldn't want to be in here like that. Getting into some sun. I think I'm pretty much out of the main canyon complex now. Uh, yeah, that's the main canyon part. So we made it all the way to the end of the main canyon part. Um, the rest of this, it opens up real wide here and this part here is pretty steep. You got about a hundred yards 
After the first mile and a quarter where it's really gentle, it gets steep and rocky for about, oh, probably about an eighth of a mile as you're working your way up into the canyon. Then it kind of levels off again for the better part of the canyon and towards the end of the canyon it starts getting really steep and you got to climb over stuff. This is about 45 feet, or excuse me, about 45 degrees down. I mean, it's pretty steep, give you an idea. I mean, it's... Some loose rock. That's where that stream is. I'm going to try not to fall. I'm not going to do this video all the way out. I want to get you down to where this stream is. We get a little bit of canyon here. Okay, and as we're still, okay, so we're still in the canyon, and that's pretty much straight up. But from there, though, it really starts opening up the rest of this. So. As far as the canyon that's enclosed, we're pretty much out of that now. Let's see if I can get back down to where this stream is. I'm going to go ahead and end this. The stream's not far. Actually, got a little water there. The stream comes out of uh, the ground. It goes out there, and it starts coming out there, and down there. So, I guess you'd kind of call it a spring, because it's, it's, it's coming out of the ground right here. But now it's not flowing very heavy, you know. You could probably fill a water bottle with this stuff. But, yeah, it's right out of the ground there. And, uh, this part of the trail, this part of the trail is the stream. Give you an idea. Yeah, that's the, the, okay, so, short little section of the trail that you actually walk through the stream. And then, curiously, you get down to about right here, it's odd, the stream doesn't last very long. You get down about to here, and it goes back underground again, and that's it. Stream is about 100 feet long, comes out of the ground, flows down the hill about 100 feet, and goes back underground. And from this point on, it's dry. So, yeah, an interesting little 100 foot long stream there. So, okay, the rest of this is just approach trail from this point. It's nice and easy, so I'm going to go ahead and end this and get on back to the car. Maybe take a few more pictures on the way up.